So with Hawaii hosting the Sony Open this week, I thought it would be relevant to talk about my favorite golf courses on Oahu. I really had the privilege of playing most of the golf courses on Oahu and throughout the state, especially when I was younger during junior golf time. But since having kids, I really haven't played in years, but I still love the game. So I just wanted to talk story about the 10 best golf courses on Oahu, at least according to me. They're the ones that I love. So I hope that you hear me out because they probably aren't the courses that you're thinking of or even that make most top recommendations. And sorry, I wish I could show footage of me golfing at these courses, but like I said, kind of busy with two kids. So if you're interested in these golf courses after hearing me talk about them, you can check them out online. And let me know what your favorite golf course on Oahu is in the comments below. Kahuku Golf Course. I know that Turtle Bay gets all the attention, but what I love about Kahuku's course is that it doesn't look like any other course here on the island. If you go there and you see how it's designed, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's very rural. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It's only nine holes, but that's okay. The views are amazing because the ocean is right there. But what I love most about the golf course is that they support their local kids. When I was in high school, I think the golf coach for Kahuku High School also worked at the golf course so that they had some kind of special arrangement where the kids could play for free. But I think that that's great. I think that it's always nice that the local courses support the junior golfers because of how expensive it can be. And I know it can be expensive to play golf even at that young age. But thinking back, what I remember about the course most was that it's very sandy and windy, but that there's just no other course like it. Number nine is Hawaii Country Club. Now this is my dad's home course when he was younger and he used to play there a lot. It's way out in Kunia, in kind of the middle of nowhere. When I think back about Hawaii Country Club, I just remember it being really dry and the balls kept rolling like right off the tee because it's just dirt and it's kind of a lot of hills. And I used to play there quite a bit when I was younger and thinking back, I always found it to be a challenge because there was a lot of elevated greens and it was so dry that the greens were often pretty hard. Not hard as in hard to putt, but hard as in just physically they're hard. So the ball will continue rolling. If you play golf, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Number eight is Alawai Golf Course. I think it was, it could still be the busiest municipal golf course in the country. I'm not sure. But back when we used to play, it was definitely crowded. I remember when they started rolling out the golf IDs, the county ones. I got my ID there as a kid and I remember standing in line in the Alawai golf course parking lot to get my picture taken. And I haven't lost that ID and I haven't replaced it yet. And so if you look at my golf ID, that's what I used to look like when I was like 10 years old. It's a horrible picture now, but good memories. I used to practice there a lot after school at the driving range, and I think they're redoing the driving range right now, but it's a great course just based on location. It's one of the few courses that are in town. And I remember thinking that it was always an easy course, but there were some challenging holes. Because it was so busy, the wait times were pretty long, especially on that second hole. Everyone seemed to be stuck on that second hole. I think it was because it was a par three and they would wave you up to tee off and then you would go. So that would hold up the line and you see like four or five groups just waiting on the second hole. But of course, it would eventually spread out once you got past that. Number seven is Olomana Golf Links. I took golf lessons there when I was younger and we used to play there maybe two or three times a week, at least practice at the driving range every day. I even remember playing with Michelle Wee several times there when she was younger. We mostly played nine holes after school, so I got to know the front nine really well. I remember lots of water and streams. And I remember the third hole where you could chance it and try to carry that little stream if you could hit the drive. If not, you're gonna have to like lay up with an iron. And of course the eighth hole, which is the signature hole, was this short par three that reminded me of the island green at TPC Sawgrass even though it wasn't quite an island, but there was still plenty of water and if you hit it in the water, psh, splash. Number six is Pali Golf Course. Now, if you wanna play a tough golf course in Hawaii, to me, Pali Golf Course in the rain has gotta be one of the hardest. It's on the windward side, it's fairly hilly and muddy and 
it is just really nasty to play when it's wet. I used to play there a lot after school with my brother. I used to pick him up and then we would go down. And looking back, it's sad because during that time, I didn't really want to play golf. Most of the time, we didn't even finish the front nine in twilight play, you know? So we'd go out and then we'd stop after six holes. We would just walk off and go home. So I got to know the first six holes pretty well. But what I remember most about Pully Golf Course was when me and my dad would go there to practice in that open area, it's on the left side when you drive into the golf course, there's this whole left side where it's just like open grass. And it's kind of scary because there's no like rules or like boundaries or even directions. You just hit the balls and you gotta go shag them yourself. And if you don't know what shag means, it means you gotta go pick up the golf balls after yourself. Now we practiced there a lot because the grass there was thick and it was the only place that you could practice hitting from that kind of thick grass for me to prepare for tournaments in Hilo. Number five is Ted Makalena Golf Course. This was the only course I shot under par and I happened to do it twice. I consider Makalena an easy course, so it's not that great of an accomplishment, but I am proud that I broke par twice in my life. A lot of times I came close, but there I did it twice. And I remember both times coming down the 18th hole, I was nervous. I thought I'd double bogey and then screw it up, but thankfully I didn't. Now, if you don't know about Makalena, what makes the course easy is that it is dead flat and that there's a lot of dirt in the fairways. So that means that your drives are gonna roll and that makes the golf course that much shorter. I also remember that I tried putting left-handed for the first time at Makalena. I went through this phase where I thought I was like Phil Mickelson or something. So I just started to putt left-handed and my dad bought me this $100 left-handed putter. I think I used it two times and then I went back to putting right-handed. A lot of good memories at Makalena, especially because for a lot of the par fives, you'd probably be able to reach it in two. Number four is Bayview Golf Course. Now as a Kanye boy, it's my home course. So I have a lot of memories there especially the old Bayview before they redid everything. My earliest memories of golf were at Bayview Golf Course. The old first hole used to be this drop down par three. I think it was maybe about 120 yards or so. And I still remember the night where the starter let us go out and play for free. So we played the first hole two times and it was the first time I'd ever been on a golf course. No lessons, just me and my dad and my brother. And it was amazing. I also remember the old practice putting green and the old driving range where it used to wrap around and then there were the covered stalls and then at the far, far end by the trees, there were uncovered stalls, like just open. And then of course, when they upgraded everything, I remember they used to have that launch system where the golf balls used to come out of the ground on the tee and that was real nice. And we all know that broke pretty fast. I haven't been back there in a while, but I heard that they have a new driving range system that tracks your stats, which I think is kind of cool. But I always remember the summer that I worked at Bayview Golf Course. I picked up golf balls at the driving range every morning. I remember that. Five o'clock in the morning, tough job, sweating, no days off, but I learned a lot. I think I won a tournament there once, but I mostly remember it being close to my grandma's house. So there were times where I used to walk from her house with my golf bag in the neighborhood just to go all the way around and go practice. Yeah, those are good times. Number three is Mililani Golf Club. Now I have a lot of fond memories at Mililani Golf Course. I didn't play it a whole lot though, maybe once or twice a year, but Every time I went there, I always thought it was special because the course just looked nice. I don't know what it was. Like a lot of golf courses here in Hawaii, they seem like the trees and the rough, they just seem kind of like, eh, you know? But whenever I played at Mililani, I always felt like it was like almost like a country club kind of feel. The fairways were lined with these trees that I think, I don't know if they're paper trees or what, but the bark would come off and it seemed like it was paper. And again, this is coming from someone who would play at Pully and I don't know what kind of trees they used over there. But it was just very clean cut and nice. I don't remember winning at all or doing very well whenever I played there, but I just felt like it was a nice golf course and I enjoyed it a lot. And if I had to pick one normal golf course to play at here on Oahu, it would be Mililani. Number two is, well, I'm gonna call it Hickam Par 3, but Kealohi Golf Course. This is a military golf course on the base, but this was the first golf course that I officially played in as a kid for a tournament. When I look back, my first round was 45, so not so great, but hey, I was eight years old. I didn't know what I was doing. And double bogey golf when you're that young and you don't know what you're doing, I guess it's pretty good. 
I ended up winning that first tournament and I was pretty much hooked on golf after that. And we used to play there every Saturday as kids thanks to a wonderful woman named Mrs. Gomart. She would invite junior golfers to come in to the base and play and I remember when we were young kids we would line up in the middle of the fairway so we wouldn't tee off at like normal tees. We'd have to go up to like the fairway at like I don't know, 100 yards or something. And we would all tee up at the same time and blast all our tee shots at the hole. And sometimes she would tee off with us and join us and it was really good fun. I didn't appreciate her enough at the time, but looking back, she was very special to be able to do that for junior golfers. She didn't have to, you know, but she did it for so many of us. And if you look back at the golfers who used to play on those Saturdays, you'll see it's quite an accomplished list and just really thankful and grateful for people like that. We used to also play night golf there once a year, which was always kind of fun. And so to me, it's not the most challenging or accessible course for most people, but that Hickam Par 3 course is very special. And number one, Hawaii Kai Golf Course, but it's the executive golf course. Now this is my absolute favorite golf course on Oahu. If there was only one golf course that I had to play for the rest of eternity, it would be Hawaii Kai Executive Golf Course. Again, not because it's the best golf course or even the best golfing experience, but just because of all the memories that I have there and the amount of time that I spent there as a kid. Even all these years later, I can still picture every hole on that golf course. I can visualize it in my mind. There are just so many memories there on that golf course and in the parking lot and the old clubhouse and the new clubhouse. Good and bad. A lot of lessons learned there. Like there was a time where I was disqualified twice actually because I signed the wrong scorecard. I had to learn that the hard way. Or when I went head to head with some of Oahu's best players at the time and for whatever reason, I was able to beat them in match play. Not stroke play, they definitely dominated me, but when I was able to play them in match play, somehow it just worked out. And of course, the restaurant. You cannot forget the restaurant, right? Oh, the Locomoco is so good. And when I was a young kid, I used to collect the ball markers, and I collected a lot of ball markers. And at Hawaii Kai, you could just go into the pro shop and grab as many as you like. So every time I went into the pro shop, I grabbed like a handful when the starter wasn't looking. And there was this one time when I was upstairs at the restaurant and I brought this huge bag of ball markers and I was showing them to my friend and the head pro walks by and he says, hey, so that's where all my ball markers went. And I was just smiling and laughing and yeah. But it's just so many memories there at Hawaii Kai. I wish I could go back and play and show you and talk you through a lot of the memories that I had there. It's my favorite golf course and I hope that they never close it down. Like I mentioned, I haven't played golf in years. I used to be a four handicap, but now I'm probably like 20 plus. I mean, it's hard to keep up with work and kids you just don't have the time anymore. Sometimes I still have dreams where I'm golfing in tournaments and having fun. And I wish that I could golf like I used to, but for now, it's just not the right season for me. But maybe one day I'll be able to pick it back up again. It was something that I really love to do. And I have so many great memories of golf with my dad. I wrote a manuscript for a book about growing up in Hawaii and playing golf. I tried to get it published, but there wasn't any interest from local publishers. It just contains a whole bunch of memories of growing up in Hawaii and playing golf and a lot of lessons that I learned, a lot of the struggles that I went through, as well as some of the successes that happened in my little golf career. And hey, at least my kids have it so they can read it one day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and aloha. Hello.